Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Lab. So today we are going to talk about in the Karate framework, how to call a GET API. Very simple, very straightforward, and you will be amazed to see that how simple it is. Right, so I'll do one thing in my feature file, feature folder. I'm going to create a new feature file. So my feature name is, let's see, GET API. So I'll write simple GET API dot feature. You can write any name, but make sure dot feature is that you have to use it. And then I'm going to create a feature, first of all, that what exactly the feature is all about. So if, let's say I'm going to write get API uh, feature, whatever the name, and then what are the different scenarios that you want to write. So scenario, let's see my first scenario that I'm going to write, get user uh, details. First, I'll show you that uh, which API that we are going to use it here. So here you can just come over here, go to this go rest.co.in. And then uh, there are a number of APIs are available. You can see fake data, but real responses for your practice point of view. And let's see, see, this is the get API. You can just uh, pass the specific user, one, two, three user ID, and then you will get the information about that user. So for example, let's see if I uh, execute this API in Postman. So let's see if I'm passing up to users only and send the request. So you are getting a huge JSON response over here like this, you can see that. Uh, total 1614 users are there like this and then you can pick any id for example i'm picking let's see id is equal to 30 put a forward slash user id equal to 30 and then you are getting the response as a 30 over here like that perfect here you don't need to pass any bearer token so you just forget about this authentication without authentication token also you can hit these apis send the request and then get the response here okay see 30 if i'm passing let's see 301 if the user is not available that again see this user is available but let's say i'm passing 3011 something like this and then uh, in this case the user is not available over here could not get the response or something like this or for example let's say i'm passing one once again and then it's saying resource not found with the 404 error right so we will try to hit this api and then we will see are we getting the scenario a response sorry api response and then how to validate that response as well so this is a scenario. So what is the first thing that we have to write? We have to write the code in the form of working keywords like given, when, then, and all such things that we have to write it over here. So I'll write first keyword that is a given keyword. And what is the URL? So put a space and then the URL you just simple write in single code. For example, I'll just pick this particular URL. Okay, from here to here. I'll remove this users because slash one is my data, is my user ID, right? So I'll pass as a path parameter because see slash one is a path parameter and when you write the question mark it's called a query parameter in api so right now we don't have any query parameter i'm just passing the path parameter so what we have to write we have to add and and then the path you have to write so with given you can add some more ends also let's see tomorrow you want to write some query parameter path header and all such things you can pass it over here we will show those examples later on okay in upcoming videos so let's see the path is equal to what i'm saying 30 over here so what will happen this 30 will be appended over here automatically okay so this is for the path variable query for the query parameter we will see later on and then after that what exactly you want after that i'll say when uh which kind of method it is it's the http get call post call or what so here we have a get call so we are going to use a method type also so this is my method is get call and then I'm going to write that when you call this API, what exactly response you are getting. So when you call, let's say I'm passing uh, 30, the response code, the status code that we are getting 200 OK here. Can you see that? So same thing I'm saying, then you have to validate. So then is used to assert, to validate something. So I'll say that the status is 200 or not. So simple, right? 200 and that's it. That's it. You don't need to do anything else now. We will see how to respond the JSON, uh, validate the JSON response and everything. But let's run this and let's see are we getting are we hitting this api and getting a response or not so right click on it and go to run as uh, let me just go to the configuration first get api feature okay which is fine and run it okay so here you can see the response we are getting awesome see one test case got passed and then here you can see the response see i'm getting this user id equal to 30 inath at gmail.com gender male and user is inactive same response you are getting it over here as well right and then when you see the report also let's copy this particular report generated by karate and then i'll open in a new tab somewhere over here and see the response we are getting the report we are getting and then here you can see that given url this path is this when method you are calling get it's complete 
showing the complete logs over here and the response code is 200 over here like this perfect and let's see you are looking for a specific user which is not available so you can quickly write a negative scenario also like this so let's see get user details and then i'm going to create another negative scenario let's see get uh, user details and then i'm saying that user not found okay so let's see i'll just check that let's see which user is not available for example let's see user number one is uh, not available here so it's giving you 404 so i'll say user not found the status should be 404 and the path is equal to one the user id equal to one okay so let's run it and let's see once again so the for the second one we are getting 404 and then you just refresh this uh, once again <coughs> see second scenario user not found 404 so simple right like you don't need to use any rest assured http client and all such things and then with the, like within four or five uh, keywords and then simple vdd format you can write it and no need to write any single java code over here simple very straightforward now what about other things when you hit with 30 right this is the user id is equal to 30 like this and then i want to validate let's see this data also that for example data id is equal to 30 name is equal to this i want to validate its email id or something then how will you validate that <clears throat> so whenever you are getting a response so you can store the response let's back to the scenario and you can store the response there is a response object is already there so let's see i just say then you print or you can directly do one thing then you start print you can write it print what print the response so response is a already predefined keyword is already available so whatever the api response it will be stored over here and then it will be printed on the console so let's see it is working or not so i'll do one thing let's uh, run it and let's see okay so here we are getting the things but i'll check the validation here and uh, refresh it see print the response so it's printing the response nice pretty print response is coming id equal to 30 mail and everything is coming over here and then what i do after that i'll do one thing i'll store in a variable over here see this i told you right definition let's say this is my json uh, response variable my own variable that i have created and which is equal to what so i'll store this whatever the response we are getting from the api is stored in this response variable like this then let's see just for the testing point of view i'll print json response so what will be the output of json response the same output that we were getting from the response this is just like x equal to y y equal to 30 then then again x equal to 30 in that case so let's quickly run it again and let's do let's see in the report how exactly it is printing so this is a done and then you again refresh this page and here you can see yeah you are printing the response and storing the response inside this json response and then print it once again so again you are getting this json response and now from this json response i have to reach to the data and then let's say i want to print its name should be inath so let's see how to do that so i'll store in a variable once again let's say i'm going to create a variable definition variable and then its actual name that i'm going to uh let's see yeah actual name whatever the name is coming is equal to what it means from this particular json response what do you do a dot data so we have to go to the data level data and then pick the name so data dot name we have to write because name is the child of data json object so data dot name over here like this right and then i'll do one thing that i'll let's see i'll print this once again so just like we do it in java right system dot our print and print actual name print json response same thing i'm doing it over here and then we will see one validation also so let's run it once again and let's see run as a cucumber feature so this is the done and then uh, let's see print actual name it should print inath awesome now i want to validate this is the expected result or not so what you can do is that you can simply write one assertion just like assert dot assert equals in test ng or j unit that we use same thing you can use it match over here what exactly you want to match i want to match my actual name should be equal to what equal to equal to what it should be equal to this guy inath so i'll just copy inath exact same thing over here like this and then you can store some other variables also name id and everything but let's see this is the first validation is working or not so let's right click on it run as cucumber feature okay so this is fine and then again you refresh your report and then see match is absolutely coming in the green color 
If it is not equal to this, then it will be a red color and then absolutely working fine. Green means everything is passed over here. And you can see this is my uh, feature name. This is my uh, scenario name here like this. Now, same thing if you really want to store some other guys. So what you do first, keep storing. Let's see actual name ID and then email ID. So let's say I'll write the actual ID here. And then I'm writing actual email ID over here as well. So the ID, I'll be picking this ID and then email. So let's see ID is equal to data dot ID and then data dot email. And then I simple, if you really want to print, that is, you can print it. It's not important. It will just print it on the console, but I'll do one thing. I'll just simple write a three validation, one, two, and three. So I'll write actual ID, actual email, and then it should be ID should be what? ID should be 30 and the actual email should be itat at gmail.com. So I'll just copy this guy and then paste it over here. That's it. And then let's run it. So this is run uh, done and uh, let's see. So here actual ID it's saying 30. Why? Because it's saying that uh, actual value is not a string. See why? Because it's our problem because we have written 30 is actually a numeric value, not a string value. So write 30 like this and then you run it again. Okay. Now let's see this once again. So this time it's absolutely working fine. So you here see this, it's a very nice format, easily readable. This is a URL path equal to this, get this, that call 200, print the response and then capture these three information, name, ID and email ID, and then print it and then match it. Three assertion that we have written over here like that. Okay. So this is absolutely fine. Later on, you can check the status, gender and other things as well, along with the 200 response code and later on how to validate the headers and everything also how to fetch the headers also from the JSON response like this perfect so please practice and let me know if you have any issues and see this special format over here like you don't need to write any single Java code or any method nothing just a straightforward you can write it like this okay guys one small thing what you can do is that under SRC test Java you create one file over here that is called a configuration file just like we create in a framework right properties file or any configuration file so what you do you just create one configuration file over here and your configuration file name will be simple right see this carefully karate hyphen config dot js file that you have to write everything is a small letter and directly under src test java in that folder you have to create it okay and then what you do i have this file with me you don't need to um let me just give it to you this one just copy this and then you simple uh, paste it over here right so this is the javascript file that you have to add and then whatever the variable name this is a kind of a function that you can create and all the uh, global environment variables you can write it let's see for example if you're passing any parameter like environment if environment equal to dev environment is equal to end to end or q environment or something what kind of custom uh you know a url that you want to pass it over here like this that also you can do that you can pass some configuration url also for example if i'm passing any random variable let's say hello karate my variable name so if you print this my variable name it will be printed on the console directly if you print this base url so this base url is equal to what see https gores dot co dot in i don't want to write this line again and again so you simply write base url and then here so you can replace this guy from here so just remove it from here and uh, I'll write that uh, base URL plus like this. Same thing, I'll remove it from here and the base URL plus this. So what is the value of base URL? The value of base URL, it will pick automatically from karate config.js. This is the base URL. So all the environment variables like username, password, your token and everything, you can store it over here. We will see in upcoming chapters. Perfect. Now let's quickly run it and let's see once again. So here it's looking good and let me just refresh this. It's absolutely working fine. See the base URL, it is automatically picking over here like that. Okay, so if you really want to print, you can print it also so that you can check in your code as well. You can do that, but you're printing the JSON response and everything will remain same over here. So this is about the Karate with the ABA, with the get ABA. In the upcoming chapters, we will see post, put, delete as well. And but before that, we will see some more interesting thing, query parameter and all such things with the get call also. So please practice and let me know if you have any issues. I'll do one thing. I'll start pushing the code into Git repository now. 
you can pick this code feature files everything and the this karate config.js from my git repository i'll share the url you can find the url in the description or in the comment section i'll see you in the next video till then take care and god bless you all